everybody, this is Dana Rethwish, and I am hoping and praying that all of you are safe and healthy, and that even though we are distanced physically, we can be united in spirit and in support. And I've loved how this church has been coming together in that. I've been asked to share with you um, Bible verses that were speaking to me about now, and this is something that um, I have noticed in my own life as we were raising our children and they were so involved in so many different directions and different activities. So I wanna tell you just a little story um, that goes along with the Bible verse. So we had um, three children, we still have three children, although they're not children anymore, and they were very involved. They had school, they had dance, um, Few of them, two of them were very involved in sports, very, very, very involved in sports. The third one was very involved in theater, and things just kept filling our buckets. This represents our family life, and all of these represent the demands that were on our life at that time, and the demands that I see on families all over including um, those without children at home anymore. And these things just keep piling up. And then you throw in work, and you throw in family time, and there's just sometimes not enough time in the day. And you get to nighttime, and you sit down just exhausted and try to study the word of the Lord and try to bring God into your life. And as you can tell, there wasn't enough room in our lives that way. So let's take another look at this, because like I said, I see families going through this and, and people, individuals, going through this even today. The Bible tells us in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. In Exodus 20, verse 3, we're told, You shall have no other gods before me, saith the Lord. Dance, sports, television, drama, work, family obligations, like maybe, oh, we have to go see so-and-so for dinner because it's expected, and that's the only reason we're going, all of those things can get in the way. But if we truly seek God first, he's the biggest thing in our life. If we put him in first, and then we put family and work and dance and sports and friends, going out to dinner, all of those other things in life. When we put God first, the rest of it all fits. Same exact amount, but when we put God in first and he's the most important, we have no other gods before him no other obligations or things to worship, sports or television or any of that, no other gods before our Lord, the, our Heavenly Father. We put him first, everything works out and it all fits in our life. So I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. Again, Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. And Exodus 20, verse 3, you shall have no other gods before me. This is a great time that we as families and as um, a church, as believers, have come together and started to get our lives back in order. There's plenty of time for God now because so many people are at home. Seek God first. Have a great week.